Hi, my name is Ted O'Connell, and I'm the author of USMLE Step 2 Secrets. This is the chapter on alcohol. Question 1. With which cancers is alcohol intake associated? Cancers of the oral cavity, larynx, pharynx, esophagus, liver, and lung. It may also be associated with gastric, colon, pancreatic, and breast cancer. What is the most common cause of cirrhosis and esophageal varices? Alcohol. Describe the relationship between alcohol and accidental or intentional death. Intentional death including suicide and murders. Alcohol is involved in roughly 50% of fatal car accidents, 67% of drownings, 67% of homicides, 35% of suicides, and 70 to 80% of deaths caused by fire. What may happen if you give glucose to an alcoholic without giving thiamine first? You may precipitate Wernicke encephalopathy. Always give thiamine before glucose to avoid this complication. What is the difference between Wernicke and Korsakoff syndromes? What causes each? Wernicke syndrome is an acute encephalopathy characterized by ophthalmoplegia, nystagmus, ataxia, and or confusion. It can be fatal, but is often reversible with thiamine. Korsakoff syndrome is a chronic psychosis characterized by anterograde amnesia, the, in the inability to form new memories, and confabulation or lying to cover up the amnesia. Korsakoff syndrome is generally irreversible and is thought to be due to damage to the mammillary bodies and thalamic nuclei. Both conditions result from thiamine deficiency. True or false, alcohol withdrawal can be fatal. True, alcohol withdrawal needs to be treated on an inpatient basis because it can result in death. The mortality rate of, is 1 to 5% when delirium tremens is present. How is alcohol withdrawal treated? With benzodiazepines, or in rare cases, barbiturates. The dose is tapered, tapered gradually over several days until symptoms have resolved. What are the stages of alcohol withdrawal? Acute al withdrawal syndrome occurs 12 to 48 hours after the last drink and presents with tremors, sweating, hyperreflexia, and seizures, or the so-called rum fits. Next, alcoholic hallucinosis occurs 24 to 72 hours after the last drink and presents with auditory and visual hallucinations and illusions without autonomic signs. Next, delirium tremens presents two to seven days after the last drink and possibly longer. It presents with hallucinations and illusions, confusion, poor sleep, and autonomic lability such as sweating, increased pulse, and increased temperature. Fatality is usually affiliated, associated with this stage. These stages may overlap. Delirium tremens may occur several days after the last drink. The classic example is a patient who develops delirium on post-operative day two, but was, but was fine before surgery. He or she could be a closet alcoholic, assuming other causes for delirium have been ruled out. What are the classic physical stigmata of liver disease in alcoholics? Abdominal wall varices, or caput medusae, testicular atrophy, atrophy esophageal varices, encephalopathy, internal hemorrhoids, asterixis, jaundice, scleral icterus, ascites, edema, palmar erythema, spider angiomas, gynecomastia, teri nails, which are white nails with a ground glass appearance and no lunula, fetor hepaticus, which is the so-called breath of the dead, which is a sweet fecal smell, and deputrin contractures of the extremities. What are the classic laboratory findings of liver disease in alcoholics? Anemia, which is classically macrocytic, prolonged prothrombin time, hyperbilirubinemia, hypoalbuminemia, and thrombocytopenia. What diseases and conditions may be caused by chronic alcohol intake? Gastritis, fatty change in the liver, Mallory-Weiss tears, 
hepatitis, acute or chronic pancreatitis, cirrhosis, peripheral neuropathy via thymine deficiency and a direct effect of the alcohol, Wernicke or Korsakoff syndrome, cerebellar degeneration presenting as ataxia and past pointing, dilated cardiomyopathy, and acute or chronic rhabdomyolysis. Describe the classic derangement of AST and ALT in alcoholic hepatitis. The ratio of AST to ALT is at least 2 to 1, although both may be elevated. Other causes of hepatitis usually are associated with the opposite ratio or equal elevation of both AST and ALT. What is the best treatment for alcoholism? Alcoholics Anonymous or other peer-based support groups have had the best success rates. Disulfiram, an aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme inhibitor that makes people sick when they drink, can be used in some patients. Be sure to warn patients that metronidazole and certain cephalosporins have a similar effect on those who drink alcohol. Describe the effects of alcohol on pregnancy. Alcohol is a definite teratogen and the most common cause of preventable mental retardation in the United States. You should be able to recognize the classic presentation of a child affected by fetal alcohol syndrome, which includes mental retardation, microcephaly, microphthalmia, short palpebral fissures, midfacial hypoplasia, and cardiac defects. No amount of alcohol consumption can be considered safe during pregnancy. Fetal alcohol syndrome rates vary, but may affect as many as 1 in 1,000 births in the United States. Discuss the epidemiology of alcohol abuse. Roughly 10 to 15 percent of the population abuses alcohol. Alcohol abuse is more common in men. The genetic component is passed most easily from father to son. What kind of pneumonia should you suspect in a homeless alcoholic patient? Aspiration pneumonia. Look for enteric organisms such as anaerobes, E. coli, streptococci, and staphylococci as the cause. Think of Klebsiella species if the sputum resembles currant jelly or if thick mucoid capsules are mentioned in culture reports. True or false, alcohol can precipitate hypoglycemia. True, but give thiamine first, then glucose in an alcoholic. What are the classic electrolyte and vitamin or mineral abnormalities in alcoholics? For electrolytes, look for low magnesium, low potassium, low sodium, and elevated uric acid, which can result in gout. For vitamins, look for folate and thiamine deficiencies. Remember that alcoholics tend to have poor nutrition and may develop just about any deficiency. How are bleeding esophageal varices treated? First, think of the ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation. Stabilize the patient with intravenous fluids and blood if needed. If indicated, correct clotting factor deficiencies with fresh frozen plasma, fresh blood, and vitamin K. Next, perform upper endoscopy to determine the cause of the upper GI bleed. There are many possibilities in an alcoholic. Once varices are identified on endoscopy, sclerotherapy of the veins is attempted with cauterization, banding, or vasopressin. The mortality rate is high and rebleeding is common. If you must choose, try a transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt, so-called TIPS, over an open surgical porticaval shunt for more definitive ma management if needed. The most physiologic shunt type among surgical options is the splenorenal shunt. However, open surgical shunt procedures are now rarely performed. How are varices with no history of bleeding treated? These are treated with non-selective beta blockers, such as propranolol, natalol, and timolol, to relieve portal hypertension, provided that there is no contraindication to the use of beta blockers. That's the end of the chapter on alcohol. Please join us next time for the biostatistics chapter.